So today we're going to be doing a little experimentation for Airsoft for science. Now, not all iPro is created equal. We all know that anything that is polycarbonate, ANSI rated stuff is good to go for Airsoft. But let's talk about mesh. What I've got here is some stainless steel mesh that I, was, that I was actually able to pick up from a metal fabrication shop. And I also got a sheet of perforated galvanized steel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that ASG Scorpion Evo and it's got its original spring in it, which means it shoots about 410 FPS out the box. And I'm gonna shoot the bejesus out of this stuff and we're gonna see what happens. You ready? Let's go. All right, what we've got in the chair right now is our galvanized sheet. I am putting on my iPro. I'm loading my ASG Scorpion Evo. And I am about point blank range away. Now, we're going to see what happens. Went right through it. So, that being said, stamped steel, at least stamped galvanized steel at this gauge, which is not very thick at all. It might be, God, it might it might be 20 gauge, leaning more toward probably 22. But yeah, that's a definite no go. So let's switch up to the mesh. If I can find where the hell I put it. So let's put our mesh here. Again, ASG Scorpion Evo, Chrome's at approximately 410 FPS. And make sure you wear your safety glasses. Huh. Deceitful Magazine. Yeah. See that? That could have been your eyes behind that. Now, we all know these. Even this mesh right here at close quarters will eventually fail. Also, look what was left in, you know, I, I used the darker color backgrounds and the lighter color BBs so you could see this. All of those flecks and flakes that you're seeing, those are shards of BB. Those are shards of plastic. And that kind of stuff, if you're wearing this mesh iPro, that stuff can get in your eye. 
And unlike metal flakes when they get in your eye, you know, doctors can't use a magnet and get that stuff out. So if it's in there bad enough, it's going to require surgery and surgery ain't cheap. You know, don't skimp on your eye pro. Don't be cheap on it. Get to get the good stuff. I did this demonstration because I care about everybody who plays this sport. And I want you to make sure that you're aware of the hazards of some safety gear. Mesh, while it's okay, you know, I'm not even going to say it's okay. Mesh is not eye protection. It's not ANSI rated. It, cl it clearly can't stop sustained blast from something shooting 410 FPS. And I know the test was a little extreme, but you should always have gear that's ready for worst case scenario. So I'm glad you were here to actually bear witness to this because I would hate for one of you out there to be out there in the field with your mesh eye pro on thinking that it's all good and that you're safe. You're not. You're never truly 100% safe. Equipment fails. Just make sure that you get the best of a, the best equipment you can buy. I spend my money on my guns, on my boots, and on my protective equipment because you only get two eyes. So play hard, play safe, power your heads, and always fight forward.